with endurance. To run well, there is need of endurance. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1. Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Here's something that every runner would agree with, every athlete would agree with. Running requires endurance. We need to stick to the program. We need to continue running till we reach the finish line. And so uh, there is requirement of patience and a requirement of endurance as we run this race of life to fulfill everything that God has for us. But this is easier said than done. Sometimes it's very difficult to endure uh, and to wait while we don't see uh, the end goal in, in front of us, when we don't see the result before our very eyes, which is why we call this a race of faith. Many times we do not see the outcome and we need to continue believing God that the outcome uh, will appear as we stay in the game, as we stay in the race. Let's take a lesson from Abraham. Just think about Abraham. Uh, Abraham received a promise from God. Uh, and uh, as we study the life of Abraham, uh, it, it is possible that he waited at least 25 years before Isaac was born to Sarah and him. 25 years, that's a very long time. Abraham needed endurance. What would have happened if Abraham gave up midway and decided that God's promise would never come through. But Abraham stayed with the promise. He ran his race with endurance. Hebrews chapter 6 uh, and verse 15, that uh, throws light on the fact that Abraham waited patiently, he endured uh, and he received the promises. Uh, I like the message version of the Bible that, that uh, uses the phrase, Abraham stuck it out. In our lives, grit uh, is an essential quality. We need to stick it out sometimes. We need God's grace to not give up and hold on, um, even when it seems like the boat is sinking. But we know that as long as we depend on God, as long as we understand the true nature of God, the faith um, will, will, be, will thrive in our hearts, knowing for a fact that God will come through. It may take a while, but God's promises will be fulfilled. So run this race, run with endurance. Let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, we, we thank you, God. Father, we thank you for, uh, uh, Lord, your grace and your strength that you extend to us. Father, we thank you for uh, the unique and special promises, God, that you've extended to each one of us. Lord, and in our lives, oh God, Father, we ask, uh, Father, for uh, the kind of endurance that Abraham had, Father, uh, that, Lord, we would keep believing you, Father, that we would keep confessing faith, that, Lord, we would uh, keep Keep, O oh God, uh, looking at you, Father, uh, and Lord, standing on your promise, Lord, until we see that promise fulfilled in our lives. Father, we ask, God, uh, that, Lord, no distraction, no sin, Lord, uh, nothing of the enemy, Father, will, will take that focus away from us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness in our lives. We give you the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.